In spring, the longer days turn each tiny speck of land into a potential breeding ground for the Antipodean wandering albatross. This 14-year-old male is now mature enough to start selecting a partner. For the smaller, darker female, choosing a suitable mate is of equal importance. They may stay together for the next 50 years. It seems to be working. The finale is the real decider. Synchronized wing spreading. But another male appears and shows off his wings. But the first male won't tolerate a rival cutting in. She prefers one tango at a time. It seems that this is not going to be his year after all. But he's caught the eye of another albatross. Once again, he begins his courtship display. But this is, in fact, another male. Regardless, he continues to demonstrate his eligibility. This could still be the one with whom he will share the rest of his life. On the Antipodes Islands, it's becoming increasingly common. Today, there are three times as many males as females. Females feed further north than the males, in waters used by industrial fishing fleets that catch and drown great numbers of seabirds. As a result, the female albatross here is now declining fast. A same-sex partnership like this may bring no survival advantage, but is apparently preferable to a life alone.